you know, maybe we can inspire others to, to know what, you know, what drives you. So thanks for asking that question. It, it helps me explain because I've been asked that a bunch of times. Um, I'm a patriot. That's what it boils down to. My grandfather, who I didn't really know much, uh, he kept himself a lot, but through doing some research, um, he was a, he got a distinguished, uh, distinguished flying cross uh, in World War II. They're shooting down six zeros uh, in the Battle Pacific. So uh, got a Purple Heart from getting shot in the hand and all these things that he went through that I never even knew about, but I just knew him as the, grouchy old grandpa that didn't like to talk much and loved to hunt and fish and now i get it and i i've always wanted to serve and when i was 37 and they said thank you chief for your service it's time for you to retire you know i didn't at that point i was like well well shoot what am i going to do now almost everyone that i've talked to since announcing i was running unless they were uh, allegiant to a specific party, you know, they don't understand it, but there's a lot of independents out there, especially here in Arizona. Um, and a lot of people are upset with uh, both sides. Um, so there's a lot, there's a lot of people in the country, not just in Arizona that are, are set up. And I think, uh, you need to get out some dinosaurs and some clowns. There's, that's what I'm fighting against dinosaurs and clowns, but, they either are too old to know what's going on really in the country or they don't care. They're set in their ways or they're just a clown. <laughs> and <I'm, laughs> I don't know about you, but I don't yeah. like clowns. I have a lot of experience on my belt. And I think the way I make decisions about things, I surround myself with the best information. And then I go with my gut and say, this is the best thing to do. And if I can do that for my constituents here in District 2, I'll be a such a better leader than, than what they have or what they've had in the past. But that's why I think people will vote for me. And even though I'm not, you know, for one party or the other, just because of extremes on both sides, um, I'm, I think there's a silent majority out there that believes a lot of my same things, and I think I can be that voice.